In step three of exercise number eight, the following actions have to be implemented to add an iMachining 3D operation to the cam part and then to find the rough and rest rough machining of the mold core. As shown in the upcoming videos, every operation definition consists of a number of stages. It begins with the geometry definition. The selection of the tool, milling levels, and cutting conditions is then performed. In conclusion, you have to define the technological parameters. Add an iMachining 3D operation to the cam part. In the Solid Cam Manager, right click the operations header and choose 3D iMachining from the Add Milling Operation submenu. The iMachining Operation dialog box is displayed. Because this is an iMachining 3D operation, you will notice that the technology is called 3D surfacing as opposed to iRough, iRest, or iFinish, which are strategies used in iMachining 2D. Like iMachining 2D, however, the workflow in SolidCam is similar, and every iMachining 3D operation is defined by a number of parameters. The first step of definition is the geometry selection. On the geometry page, you will see that target appears in the geometry name field. This means that the solid model of the target is automatically selected for the machining geometry. If you click the Show button, the selected 3D model geometry is displayed in the SolidWorks window. Click Cancel to exit the Show Geometry dialog box. iMachining 3D also enables you to limit the toolpath with a specified working area. For example, click the Define button in the Working Area section. The Working Area dialog box is displayed. By default, iMachining 3D works in the mode of Cut Only the Rest Material. This mode enables iMachining 3D to utilize the updated stock model from the previous operation as input for the starting stock model of the current operation. Because this is the first iMachining 3D operation, the resulting updated stock model is the same as the initial solid model of the stock. Later in this exercise, a second iMachining 3D operation will be added to the cam part, which will further illustrate the mode of cut only the rest material and use of the show 3D and show model buttons. On the left, there is the option to enable working area. This mode enables you to specify a working area geometry that defines the machining boundaries for the operation. A working area geometry is defined by a closed loop of solid model edges and or sketch entities, which is similar to the geometry definition for an iMachining 2D operation. The iMachining toolpath is then limited to the areas contained in the boundaries. Tool on working area controls the tool position relative to the boundaries of the working area. And the offset value parameter enables you to specify the offset of the tool center on the boundaries of the working area. Click Cancel to close the working area dialog box. At this stage, the geometry is defined by iMachining 3D automatically selecting the solid model of the target for the machining geometry.